good morning everybody oh it's not good morning it's good afternoon i don't remember if i said good morning or good afternoon yesterday but good afternoon hello welcome we're back again with some research minimal research that is i have discovered that along with my theory test i have to take a hazard perception test perception test perception test a hazard perception test right i thought it was like a whole nother test turns out it's just like 14 videos i said okay so what we're gonna do today is have a go like a, have a have a bit of a go you know i'm gonna try it out see how i feel in the test there are three clips each clip has one developing hazard Click or tap anywhere on the screen when you see a developing hazard. This is something that will cause you to take action such as changing speed or direction. A red flag will appear at the bottom of the screen to show your response has been registered. You can score up to five points for each developing hazard, so the earlier you recognise and respond to them, the better. You won't lose points for responding to other things even though they may not develop into a hazard. However, don't just click on everything in the clip or click in a pattern because if you do, you will see a warning message and you won't score any points for that clip. Okay, let's just play the clip. Is there any volume? Where do, do I click on the hazard or... That's, that's not a hazard, is it? It's parked. I should have clicked that. I, I should have clicked that. Who's that? I saw you from before, bro. Should I make it big screen? You're driving pretty slow. You're not a hazard, you're just a car turning. Right? Oh, I saw you, bitch. I should have clicked. I should have clicked on the window. Damn it! Because I saw it in the window, but my hands didn't move. Um, no bother. I don't see any children. Where are you, children? Where are you, children? This is a junction, so stop, bitch. Oh, we're done. You completed one out of three clips. Oh, there's one hazard per clip. So that guy speeding was in a... I don't know. Click or tap anywhere in the video when you see a developing hazard. This is something that will cause you to take action such as changing speed or direction. You can score up to five points for each developing hazard. Oh, we are speeding. What does that say, bitch? I can't even read that. Slow down. Is this a hazard? I'll click it anyway. I clicked a little bit too late, but... Is this a hazard? Is that a person? It's a tree. What's that? Oh, Lord, that's a lamppost. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That is a lamppost. Is there going to... What are these things? I keep thinking they're people. I'm sorry, we need crisp quality. That's a tractor. Okay. Oh, wow. I didn't click any hazards. So we failed this one. Oh, that is a tractor. Okay. Oh, I should have clicked him from time ago. I thought he was in the... <gasps> we just died, guys. I would have killed us. Oh, snap. Okay. Technically, I did point out the tractor from time. I just couldn't tell because, you know, I'm watching through a screen that um, that was a side road, you know, like it was a, a road, not. I thought he was on like on his farm or on his lap. Anyways, next clip. Click or tap anywhere in the video when you see a developing hazard. This is something that will cause you to take action such as changing speed or direction. You could scroll up to five points for each developing hazard this guy better not slip or start wobbling because i ain't got time is this a hazard i don't need to why do i click that that doesn't count see now i'm just paro you're speeding you're parked you're pulling out should have, I should have clicked earlier, shouldn't I? 
Listen, my eyes aren't 10 10. They used to be. Was that the one hazard? We good? Finish! Tap to see your results. Oh, I failed. I, d I wasn't even looking at the failed sign, I was looking at the 3 points, 2 points, 0 points. I failed. You scored 5 out of a possible 15. To pass the test, you must score at least 9 out of 15. This has a perception test. There's only a small sample of the video clips available to help you pass your real test. In the real hazard perception test, you'll need to score as follows. Car drivers and motor motorcyclists, 44 out of 75. Drivers of large vehicles, 51 out of 75. Okay, I can't scroll, so where do I click, bitch? Three points. Okay, do I just slide? That was embarrassing. Should I just do the test again? And so I just click anywhere, right? Guys, I'm actually tired. It's like revising makes me feel sick. I passed! Look at it, hey, look at it, eh, eh, eh. Okay, joking. Um, I can review the video clip. I got five out of five for clip number one, period. Okay, let's review. Clip number one. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. So I need to click from here. Oh, uh, so that's how I got it because I just. Alright, alright, this one. Oh, so if I scored straight. Okay, so I would have got five if I saw it from there. Four if I saw it from there. Three if I. So I should have got that. Okay, I got my three points. Alright. Okay, I get how it works now. Before I'm thinking, what am I. How can you tell whether or not I clicked? I'm all clicking the water in the beginning. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I got my five points, period, Paul. <laughs> period, Paul. Even though I kind of saw the video already. Anyway, end of review, I get it. Three points. We passed second time. Obviously, it's I've seen it. Oh, so now you can scroll down to the bottom. In the real test, one clip has two hazards. So why can you... Okay, driving instructors, 57 out of 75. Ensure you pass first time, blah, 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 blah. Well, that's disrespectful. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. I think I looked at this one before. How many clips do we get? See our hazard perception library. We have 156 practice videos. They each contain 14 clips and 15 minutes are 15 minutes long. Bruh, become premium. Relax. Everyone and the money, relax. Click when you spot a developing hazard. Click on the video. Okay, guys, let's go. I'm ready. That doesn't count as a hazard, does it? It's a car. Speeding. Side road. Train. Overhead. Car. Hill. Was this a hazard? I think I just failed. I think I just failed, guys. Tractor. Turning the bend. Oh, snap. I scored zero. take it again okay i know which one was the hazard i think it was the it was when i pulled up i think i think we're gonna try we're gonna try again the thing is i'm not gonna have a chance to try again next time am i what is this from where we are now it doesn't look like it's one way at all another car speeding 
Does this count? I've clicked, I clicked it three times just to flag, you know. Just to say that I flagged the bitch. <laughs> but I'm, I'm highly confused. Like, did that even count as a hazard? Yay! Click for explanation. I should have clicked my exp You guys need to tell me to click for explanations. The sign warned you of the road becoming narrow up ahead. It did? The traffic closed, so I'm... Uh, animals, car, keep left. Nothing coming up that side road. Uh, merging, straight head. I don't know what all these signs are meaning, I'm just talking. There's this person walking, but it doesn't mean anything to me. Stay in your lane, bro. There's no one coming up the side road. Cyclist, cyclist. <laughs> 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 alright alright am I trying to overtake him uh, freak out is there someone behind that bush I thought I just saw someone over here did I get it oh four damn it click for explanation um, as you drive down the road you see a cyclist emerging from the junction on your left um you cannot overtake the cyclist due to oncoming traffic, so you slow down until it's safe to do so. Well, I got four, so we're getting the hang of it, I guess. That's the thing, sometimes I can't tell what are side roads and what aren't. Bro, they said right here. Is that the cyclist? That's not him, that's a bush. So I'm just meant to slow down because there's a junction, but then why didn't I slow down at the last one, at the last side road? There was another side road, wasn't there? I'm not tripping, yeah. There was no slowing down over here. What was that? Did the arrow just get bigger or am I tripping? Anyway. But all of a sudden, because we're here, I have to stop. Okay, okay, this makes more sense. Here. Where did I stop? I stopped a little bit more. So there he is, but I should have clicked a bit faster. I said there. After he passed the tree. I still got my point. Ain't no problem, ain't no problem. You feel me? Next question. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, snap around about. I'm not ready for that. Okay, it's left. You need to look out for me because I'm on your right. Oh, we're still going. Where are we going? Where are we going? Zebra crossing. I don't see people. What's going on? I just need to click right side road i don't see nothing pulling out i don't see any cars indicating on the left hand side do i need to click to break or something i don't see bitch oh i thought you <laughs> i didn't notice that you were pulling into the parking space i'm such an idiot okay i'm not an idiot i'm just i'm not a driver that was that was stupid i'm all looking at the parked cars getting ready to pull out my guy i'm thinking we're at traffic light i obviously can't see in front of me i I'm, I'm, guess i'm not built for this guys i guess i'm not oh this is cgi those are like gta characters i thought we were actually driving like oh my god i got zero points damn it damn it Shortly after exiting the roundabout, you see this car signalling to the left and applying the brakes as it comes. I didn't see him signal, because that's what I was thinking when we were slowing down. Is he going to signal? But I didn't see no signal. Indicating that it wants to break, wants to park on the left-hand side of the road between some parked cars. As soon as the car stops in the road, it becomes developing hazard, a developing hazard. You should slow down and allow the vehicle to complete its manoeuvre before continuing the journey after assessing it is safe to carry on. Look at me, I click up way after, way too late. When does he start signalling? Is he signalling? I saw the brake lights, I would have got one mark bro because I just saw the, the brake lights turn off. Am I tripping? Okay, is that the signal right there? Wait, hold up, wait a minute. Brake lights. It's not blinking though, it's just one orange light. 
all right, fine. Fine then, I just don't know my, I don't obviously don't know my stuff. Breaking, signaling, I would have got three if, oh, anyway. Next clip, so I'm not getting the hang of it. It's night time, we're driving, look for the lights. What does that say? Don't drive tired. Dipped headlights, I'm seeing no one's overtaking. Um, the cat eyes, my guy is swerving. Swerving, sir, why are you swerving? He's asleep, we need to just back up, back up real quick. That is dangerous, honey. What I get? Five! Hey, hey, hey. We still need to take a look though at the explanation. And then, oh, I didn't notice he didn't indicate. I just was thought, I saw you drifting, sir. I said, no, 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 no drifting, please. <laughs> no drifting, please. You could have hit me. You could have hit me. Are we done? That's not fair. Bro, oh, give me more. Me, a, a, ooh, yes, sir. I got it. Yeah. Oh, it's stationary. Oh, he's moving. No, he's not. He's indicating. Okay. He swerved in front of me. We almost died. Next clip. Click to start. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're in snow. Okay. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do anything. Ah! Okay, we need to do this one again. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't, that doesn't count. It was frozen. Full screen. There's snow in my eyes. So apparently we need to be on a high gear at this point. I'm not sure why. High gear with brakes on or something. Oh, snap. The way my guy swung out. We're gonna have to do this again. That was very, very dangerous. I don't think this counts because I'm already clicking prior to seeing another hazard. So then it's making me more alert of the newer hazard. So it, technically I, I'm, my perception is not good at all. That's quite evident. Whoa, truck, van, bro. That wasn't a hazard, was it? It could have been if I was skidding. Bro, I can't see. We're too far out right now. I got three. Yeah, of course you would. I get three. Driving along a residential road in snowy and icy. How did I not get it? Oh, yeah, that's one thing. You see a white van driving on a road up ahead on your left. Given the conditions, the van is traveling faster than it should be doing. Um, as a junction approaches, the van applies the brakes. Yeah, that doesn't count. So I would have got- wait, wait, hold up, wait a minute, let me backtrack. When does it count as a five? Stop! I press the space bar. Does that not count as pause? So, it's a hazard here. All right, I'll just click more than once then to ensure that it doesn't happen again. Next clip. Oh, that's us done. All right, that wasn't as interesting as I would have liked it to be. What am I talking about? It was, that was, uh, all right, I guess. Um, press to jump to the search bar. <gasps> That's what it was telling me. That came in handy. Um, let's go to. <laughs> I'm neither of those, by the way. Um... Just go to the one we did yesterday. Oh, we're back again to try. It's technically, um, should I do the same one I did yesterday or should I do a new one? 
Okay, technically. Oh, step one easy. Step two hard. All right, all right. I got you. I got you. Period. I got you. Let's get it popping. Um. Yes. Lost yesterday. No. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, we did easy. UK diagnostic theory test. The following 15 minute multiple choice questions are designed to help you get a rough idea of how mi how much you already know about driving rules in the UK. These are practice questions that are most often missed by our users. This test will help you quickly identify gaps in your knowledge of driving a motor vehicle, which will be especially useful if you're just starting to prepare for your car theory test. Oh, okay. So maybe I should take the diagnostic test then. Diagnostic test. Because the other one is, what, 50 minutes? Or 45 minutes or so. Alright, let's do the diagnostic test to get it out of the way. Um, 15 minutes. We're gonna try. Mm, let's see if I've improved at all from yesterday. Obviously, I doubt there'll be much improvement, but we'll see. Let me just get my blanket ready because my legs are chilly. <laughs> Look at me on my bars. I'm like, just, oh my god, like... <laughs> Let's go. Start now. What is the legal blood alcohol limit in England and Wales? You what, mate? <coughs> you what? Um, okay, there's a huge gap in this part of my knowledge because, hint, yes please. Um, the legal blood alcohol limit in 80 milligrams of alcohol per 100 milliliters of blood Rule 95 of the highway code. Let's let's check if you are indeed correct because I've got my highway code right here and you know what? I'm gonna go on Quizlet and I'm gonna make some of these rules on Quizlet. Like, I'm gonna do that. Um, alcohol and drugs is the title. She is indeed. Come on, bubba. Focus on me. Right there, you see that? Rule 95. Do not drink and drive. Don't do it. Just don't. Just don't do it. Oh wow, the micrograms was there to trick you. That would have caught me out because it literally says, must not drive with a breath alcohol level higher than 35 micrograms out of 100 milliliters of breath or a blood alcohol level of more than 80 micrograms to 100, millil to 100 milliliters of blood. That would have caught me out. Because I would have read, oh yeah, 35 micrograms out of 100 milliliters. But it says of breath. But when it comes to alcohol level in the blood, it's 80 milligrams. Next question. You wish to park, but visibility on the road is poor because of fog. You need to keep your side lights on. Keep only your dipped headlights on. Keep your dip headlights and fog lights on. Keep your main beam headlights on. Hint. Other motor motorists have poor visibility too while you park. They need to be able to see you. So dipped headlights and fog lights then. Bitch. You wish to park, but visibility on the road is poor because of fog. Ugh. Keep your side lights on, like what? You are driving along a three-lane motorway while towing a trailer. You must not without having stabilizer fitted use the right hand lane overtake drive faster than 50 m's let's go with that why can't i use the right hand lane what did we learn yesterday let me check the hint when towing a trailer you must not obstruct the motorway i will be obstructing them i won't be obstructing the motorway in the right hand lane Oh yes, yes, use the right hand lane for higher sided vehicles. We did look at that yesterday, didn't we? Well, the question looked at it, I didn't look at anything. All right, all right, that still doesn't really make sense to me, but okay. What is the maximum penalty for, dri maximum penalty for driving without your MOT certificate? Disqualification. A 1,000 pound fine. A five hundred pound fine, just disqualification. A one thousand pound fine. Okay. You arrive at a Pelican Crossing with a central island. Should you treat it this as one crossing or two? 
You're either a pelican crossing, what's a pelican crossing? A, the amber flashes, so it's a, a crossing. Um, what's the other one? A pelican, a toucan, and a penguin. It's not a penguin, it's a pelican, a toucan, and a puffin. Okay, pelican, toucan, a pelican crossing with a central island. The choice is regulated by signs on the central island. Treat it as one crossing. It depends on how much of a hurry you're in. Treat it as two crossings. Hint. Pelican crossings provide safe passage for pedestrians by controlling traffic with a lighted signal. Treat it as one crossing. Alright. You are parking a manual car facing uphill next to a curb. How should you park? You're parking a manual car facing uphill next to a curb. How should you park? Leave the car in first gear and steer towards the car. Leave your car in first gear and steer away from the curb. Oh, I said car the first time. Sorry. Um, leave your car in reverse and steer away from the curb. Leave your car in reverse and steer towards the curb. Leave your car in first and steer towards the curb. Leave your car in first and steer away from the curb. You can see there's a massive gap, a massive gap. Every single one wrong so far, six questions out of 15. And I need two mistakes to pass. Okay, if you are parking on a hill, you should set your patrols to keep your car from rolling downhill, or if that fails, to keep your car from rolling into traffic. You are parking a manual car facing uphill next to a curb. How should you park? If you're parking on a hill, you should set your controls to keep the car from rolling downhill. So first gear, okay. And you should... Okay. Make your car, the wheels face away from the curb. I should have thought logically that makes sense because why? The wheels, if I turn it to the right, away from the curb, then if the car were to roll back it would do this if i had it facing the curb no wait away from the curb yeah it would do that if i have it facing towards the curb then the back wheels yeah why is it steer away from the curb on icy roads driving slowly is the highest gear reduce the chance of wheel spin driving slowly in the highest gear reduces the chance of wheel spin where will you find this sign? That says clear, that means clear way, doesn't it? Does it mean clear way? Or does it say, in an area where you cannot stop at any time? In a control, yes, that one, clear way. In a controlled parking zone. In an area where you cannot stop, park, load, or unload. In an area where you cannot load or unload. Is it that one? In a controlled parking zone, right. This is a no waiting sign. So I need to, you know, have a look at my road sign, maybe? This sign may be found near a controlled zone or an urban clearway. In slow moving traffic, how closely should you follow the car ahead? Yeah. That's scary. Um, two seconds. Um, show me how you can test if your mechanical parking brake is worn out. I have never seen this sign in my life. What is that? Okay, first of all, I should have read a thing. You should test your vehicle system in a controlled and safe manner that will not cause a hazard. Show me how you can test if your mechanical parking brake is worn out. Parking brake. What's a parking brake? I didn't even check that out yesterday. Find a sit. How am I gonna pass this exam, bro? It's in thirteen days. Okay, sorry. Let me just let me just finish this. Find a safe location. Drive forward and bring your car to a stop with the parking brake. Apply your parking brake and gently try to drive away. Find a steep hill and test whether the handbrake can stop your car from rolling. Apply the handbrake and see whether it will hold the vehicle without you needing to pull the lever too high. Find a safe location, drive for. Oh. 
Find a safe location, drive forward and bring your car to a stop with a parking brake. Apply the handbrake and see whether it will hold the vehicle without you needing to pull the lever too high. Can you wait, load, unload or park on the pavement marked by double yellow lines? No. Yes, but only to load or unload. Can you wait, load, unload or park? Can I just say no? It's yes, it's the first one in it. Alright. There can be, there has been an accident and you are the first on the scene. What is the first thing you should do? Call 999 or 11 or 112. Assess the address and assess and address any hazards present. Perform first aid on those involved. Remove those involved from their vehicle. Is it that one, number two? Yay, I got three right so far. If you're the first to arrive at the, arrive at the scene of an accident, whether someone has been injured, you should start by assessing your surroundings. Is there a risk of a fire or any other, a risk of a fire or another collision? Shut off any running engines and avoid any activities that might spark a fire. And call 999 or 112 as soon as you can. First aid on the road, the highway code. Which of the following are you allowed to do on an urban clearway? Wait, pick up, drop off passengers. Pick up or drop off passengers. Park, wait, pick up or drop off passengers. None of the above. None of the above. <laughs> It's a clear way. You, it's an urban clear way. I obviously don't know the difference. Hint, what's the hint? An urban clear way must be kept clear for traffic to flow freely. So do it quickly. Pick up or drop off passengers. When can you cross double white lines to pass another vehicle? When the speed limit is below 20 miles per hour. Never. To pass a bicycle horse or road maintenance vehicles traveling 10 miles. I think it's that one. To pass a bike or a horse, it's this one. I know it's this one because I skimmed the highway code and I think I saw something about 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometers per hour or something like that. Can you overtake another vehicle by driving on the left? No. Why didn't I, why didn't I read it? Why didn't I read it? I thought I could just... Can you overtake another vehicle by driving on the left? I assumed you can't overtake any vehicles on the left hand side. That's, isn't that undertaking? Aren't you not allowed to undertake? You can over, o only overtake. That's why they say use the middle and the right hand lane to overtake, right? Right. I, am I right? Am I right? The answer is yes but it has a but and it says only when the car ahead is signaling to turn right obviously that makes sense because how can you overtake a car if it's turning right you'll end up crashing and causing a hazard and danger to yourself and anyone in the other car Oh, how am I going to do this? How? 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 Guys, we're in day two. We're in day two. And this is where I'm at. It's not even like I got 50% or even 40%. Three out of 15. What is that? One fifth, bro. What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't even want to click view results. Oh, look at the results. 26%. How am I going to how am I going to pass? Should I continue? I'm kind of I'm kind of done for the day. Like I even started this thinking like, no, I'm this is tough stuff. 
there's no doubt about it. I wish I could have made it easier on you, but think of how awesome you'll feel when you pass. That's the spirit. What spirit, bro? 26%! <gasps> I'm sorry for shouting at you. I'm sorry for shouting at you. 26%. Three questions. Let's let's get this straight. Oh, I got four. All right. Haha, <laughs> four questions. Four questions. Four. Eleven incorrect questions. Do you see that? Four correct answers. You need at least 13 to pass. Eleven were incorrect. Bearing in mind they said I needed to get, that means two. I only had to make a mistake twice. Two mistakes were permitted. But no. No. This is what I produced. And everyone wondered why I wanted to put off the test for so long. Because this is what I produce. This is going off knowledge. Common sense, Renee. It's going to be easy. Common sense will literally get you 80% of the way. That doesn't say 80%. That doesn't say 80%, does it? I must not be able to know my number. I don't know numbers then. I must be tripping. I'm. That must say 62%, right? Oh, oh, this is my number, yeah? 80% where? 80% where? This is what, this was meant to tell me where the gaps in my knowledge are. Sis, <laughs> there was no knowledge to begin with. There was none to begin with. Um, I'm tired. I kind of want to go eat. Um, I've just been shouting at myself for God knows how long, for an hour. Um, find out what your passing probability is. Let's just review the answers first. Let's let's start. Let's let us let us let's start there. Three out of fifteen. Okay, four out of fifteen. Four out of fifteen. Mm, yeah. Look at. Do you see all that red? You'd think I was a. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's right there. I am not, but like, bitch. Like, do you see all of this red? <laughs> I was just. <laughs> wow. We gotta do better. In this scenario, you should try to avoid parking on the road because you may not be seen by other drivers. If you must park there, park facing oncoming traffic and keep your side lights on for maximum effectiveness. They should be cleaned regularly. Regularly. Look how full of my challenge bag is. She's thick, bro. 10 questions. You are not allowed to use the right hand lane when you are towing a trailer because what? You are not allowed to use the right hand lane when you're towing a trailer because you would obstruct the flow of traffic. This is because the national speed limit when you are towing a trailer on a motorway is 60 miles per hour. I knew it was 60, why the heck did I put 50? You must treat a pelican crossing as one crossing even if it has a central island. This means that you must wait for every pedestrian to finish crossing from one side of the road to the other and completely clear the road, even if you have a green light to continue. Well, that's it. that does make perfect sense. When they said, mm, treat it as two crossings, I was thinking side by side crossings like a freaking idiot. Next question. When you park facing uphill, apply your parking brake, then turn your wheels away from the curb and leave your car in first gear or park in an automatic. If your parking brake fails, your gears should stop your car from rolling. If they don't, your car will roll against the curb and not on, not out into traffic. Guys, I'm obviously not a driver, so uh, just face away from the curb, that's the answer. I'm going to have to memorise that one for future reference. Oh look, we got one right. <laughs> we failed this one. This is a no waiting sign. This sign may be found near a controlled zone or an urban clearway. Here you cannot park or stop, but you can load and unload. And the thing is I read that not too long before I started this video. Hmm. 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 Isn't that, isn't that interesting? When you are stuck in slow moving traffic, you should follow. Um, the car ahead at a close but safe distance. 
in slow moving traffic. You know I just jumped to click two seconds like a dumb nut. Apply the handbrake, apply the parking brake firmly. Check that the parking brake secures the vehicle without your needing to pull the lever too high. Does this only apply in automatics? Because I'm not sure what a parking brake is. I'm, I'm guessing that's an automatic car. Because parking brake? I forgot that I have Google. What is a parking brake? Question mark. Parking brake in road vehicles. The parking brake is also known as a handbrake or emergency brake. Oh, <laughs> is a mechanism used to keep the vehicle. A parking brake controls the rear brakes and is completely separate separate device from your vehicle's regular hydraulic brakes. Most vehicles have a drum brakes on their rear brakes, rear wheels. So when the parking brake is pulled, the cables will pull the lever that compresses the brakes and shoes. Um, yeah, we're gonna need to see some pictures. So it's just the handbrake. Ha 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 ha. What's this? Is this on electric cars or something? Don't answer that. Oh, it's a button on automatics because that's what I was thinking when I said, "Oh, it must be on automatic cars." I was thinking because it has a P, you know. Um, but no, it's just the handbrake. Yeah, the parking brake is the handbrake. Lovely. Next question. Normally, you should only overtake on the right. However, you can pass another car by driving the left. If it is indicating that it will turn right before doing so, make sure there is enough room to pass safely. Are we done? This embarrassment has just eaten at me. I've got a lot of re reading to do. Um, you know what? That's it. That's us done. I'm sick of this. I'm question 50. How many correct? 43. Pass mark 86%. Yeah, I don't even want to do any more. I'm done. I'm done. I've had enough. I've had enough. Yeah. I feel like absolute poop. I feel like poop or couture. I feel tired. My head hurts. My eye hurts. I'm done with this. I'm done with all of it. So driving isn't easy. The questions aren't easy. The the whole experience wasn't it wasn't it wasn't fun. This experience wasn't fun at all. Um, it, it wasn't like yesterday when I got some right and like, you know, some wrong. Bitch, we failed. This was a hardcore fail. This was straight. You're not supposed to be on the road, sweetie. Like, what happened? It was like I wasn't trying. That's how bad it was. It was like I wasn't trying. To be fair, I wasn't giving it 100% just now. I am tired. I am a little bit out of it, as you can see. Um, like I said, I have been here reading for three hours i didn't i didn't show that in my performance but you know i tried something anyway um yeah that's today's attempt done um just to let you know i will be reading up on the highway codes today um so that next time we come or next time i you know attempt to try either the hazard perception test or the theory test i don't come out with a 26 percent mark <laughs> how about that so yeah oh that was a burp and a snort and a, i don't even know but anyway i'm gonna try that so yeah we're gonna have a, we're gonna take a look at road signs tonight and i'm gonna test myself tomorrow and you guys can witness that with me um hopefully you guys did do a lot better than i did and we can just get this done quickly like i said it's day two we've got 13 days more to go until we take the real thing so i've got a lot of preparing to do can i do it who knows you guys will be the first to find out anyways um that's it from me i'll see you guys tomorrow where we try again because that's what we aren't going to do. We're not going to give up. We're going to try, try, and try again. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Thanks for watching. Why am I clapping? Love you. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.